Hi, welcome back to Box to Lights and welcome to my Thunderbirds cooperative board game presentation. Designed by Matt Leacock, this is a cooperative game for a one to four. Plays in 45 to 60 minutes. It does tick along quite nicely and it calls itself a cooperative board game and it absolutely is. This is one of its strongest selling points, I think. The fact that this does play very cooperatively. You have to work together to succeed at this game. I'm going to demonstrate a two-player game, Solitaire. I'm controlling two characters, not necessarily from start to finish, but to give you the main gist of how this game plays and show you some of its features. So let me finish getting set up. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go. All our Thunderbirds start here in the South Pacific. We've got Thunderbird 5 up in the geostationary orbit. He's accompanied by John, and then Lady Penelope is over here in Fab 1 in Europe. Uh, we've got the hood up here on this track. This is our timer that's going to cause us to lose the game. And at the top here, we've got events and schemes that are going to control our objectives. And you can change the difficulty here. For example, there's scheme level 4s that we're not using for this introductory game um, that can increase the difficulty. So I'll put those back in the box. There's some resource tokens here. We're going to show you those as the game progresses. Over here in Brain's notebook are the blueprints for vehicles that we can, we can use. So we're going to start the game with the mole uh, already built. So he goes here on Tracy Island. We'll place it face up to show that it's built. These vehicles are going to be able to help us complete these schemes that we've got to try and these objectives we've got to try and beat. So that's our objective. Defeat all three schemes and we win the game. The herd advances is controlled by this disaster deck here. We've shuffled in um, eight hood advances cards here, and there's other ways that this thing can advance. But not only that we've got a number of disasters down here and these are things that kind of keep the pressure on us so and distract us from our schemes these disasters are going to unfold and go down this track if one of these disasters reaches the end here then we lose so not only are we trying to defeat these schemes but we're trying to keep these things from hitting the end. All right, that's another lose condition. We've got some character cards. Like I said, I'm going to set up a two player. So let's just grab two characters at random. We have Gordon Tracy and Scott Tracy. To start the game off, we're going to reveal our first scheme. This will tell us what our first objective is. It says there's a hold up at Sunder. Stop the hood from hijacking a Mosatinum <laughs> shipment from the deep sea mine near Timor. It's an, uh, a scheme that's going to happen in Australia. Australia is right here in the middle of the map. We need two of these tokens one, two, to complete this scheme. So not too tricky. And we've got until the herd makes his way to here. If we get, if he gets to here and we haven't completed the scheme, then we lose the game. This skull and crossbones is a losing condition. These parts here, when he hits these, these events fire. Okay, so that's how the time is going to work. Let's get straight into a game turn, and we'll see how we can go about solving these things. We take three actions, and we can do any number of operations. We draw a disaster card, and then we pass the dice. Okay, so we're going to be looking for numbers on dice. We've got two dice to help us. These are your actions. We can move, we can rescue, we can plan, draw an FAB card, or we can scan. We can move a disaster card back one slot if we're on Thunderbird 5. So, Gordon is yellow, he's here on Thunderbird 4, Scott is blue over here on Thunderbird 1. So how are we going to get those two tokens we need when we're looking for two of these in Australia? Well, this is where completing these disasters come in handy. This is the reward for completing. Um, as it goes, all three are all wild, which means you can collect any one bonus token. One we're after is teamwork. We've got technology, determination, intelligence, 
Teamwork Logistics, and then the Wildcard. So all of these are going to allow us to collect any one token. So we're going to have a look at completing these. Now this one here looks perfect for Gordon Tracy. It's in Africa, it's a sea mission. Uh, we need to roll an 8, it says in the top. So we're going to roll two dice and we're looking for 8. These are all 8s as it goes. But some of these give you bonuses. So for example, if we're on Thunderbird 1, we get a plus 2. If we're in Thunderbird 4, we get a plus 2. Okay. Thwart the Hood's evil plan to steal treasure from under Lake Anasta. But not only that, Gordon Tracy has a character ability. It says add 3 to sea rescues. Um, and his other effect is, once per turn, you may spend an action to draw a determination token if we're in Thunderbird 4. So it's always good to stay in Thunderbird 4, being Gordon. The problem is that we don't have a very fast ship. So 1, 2, 3, we can only move 1. It says a 1 up here. That's his speed. One action moves him one spot. Thunderbird 1 moves three, number two moves two, so we've got some faster ships to help us. Now it just so happens, remember, that on our turn we can take three actions and any number of operations. So what's an operation and what's an action? Move, rescue, plan, scan are our actions, but these are the, the three options, operations, if you like, any number of these. We can transfer character pegs from one Thunderbird machine to another. So Gordon could hop out of Thunderbird 4, we're in the same region as these other ships, and hop into another Thunderbird 1 that's got its speed of 3. We can spend our tokens, each one of them has a special ability. So technology, for example, helps us construct a pod vehicle. Determination gives us an extra action. But the other thing we can do is we can use Thunderbird 2 to load and unload. And Thunderbird 2 will fit Thunderbird 4, Fab 1, or any pod vehicles. Remember that's a free operation. Now we're going to use a move action. Speed 2, 1, 2. We could go this way, 1, 2. Because these wrap around. Okay, so this one wraps around to Africa. So on my second move, yeah, or I could have gone this way. One, two, three. All right, so that's two actions. We're going to stop here. Let's unload. Your operations have to be done before or after an action, not during. So we couldn't, you know, use the rest of our move to move off. I'm just going to stop here, and I've got one action left. And with my remaining actions, I'm going to use the rescue action. And this is why I get to roll my dice. I'm in Thunderbird Force. So we get a plus two. It's a sea rescue. So with Gordon's ability, that's a plus three. That gives me plus five. I'm looking for an eight. Anything equal to or higher is a success. Oh, nasty. So we've got a one plus a five. That's only a six. And this icon here tells us that the hood advances. Unfortunately, we failed in our task. One plus five is only six. We needed eight. And we don't have any actions again to retry. If we did, we could. Uh, but with this die roll, the herd is advancing. The turn marker now passes to Scott Tracy. He's quick-witted, he's bold, and he's decisive. He gets plus two to air rescues, and he can get uh, logistics tokens as an action. I think we'll have a go at this one, Edge of Impact. Free two technicians stranded on the collapsing BT relay tower before it crashes to the ground. BT Tower's obviously over in London. It's an air mission, and Scott Tracy gets plus two to air rescues when he rolls, so I'm happy with that. But I think um, we're going to take Alan with us. Alan gets a plus two bonus. So as a free operation, we're in the same spot as Alan here in Thunderbird 3. He's going to jump in the back of Thunderbird 1. And our first action is going to be to use our speed, which is 3, to move over to Europe. 1, 2, 3. So that's our first action. And as our second action, we're going to try and complete this rescue. 
So we've got plus two from Ellen being in Europe, plus two from Air Rescues, that's plus four. Now you can see we would have got a further plus three if we'd have brought the Thunderizer vehicle with us, but we haven't built that yet, so we couldn't. And you can see already how cooperation is going to play a big part getting these vehicles moved around with Thunderbird 2. Okay? You know, other players can set you up for your turn because you're never going to have enough actions to do things all by yourself. Uh, let's see then. So we're looking for an 8 and we've got plus 4. There we go. Excellent. 4 plus 4. That's all we needed. So we've completed this disaster and our reward is any one token. This just gets discarded and I think we'll take the teamwork icon that we're looking for, the teamwork token. Meanwhile Scott's got one action left and I'm going to use that to move back down here to Africa, perhaps help out Gordon. Okay, so that's the basic gist of it. Um, oh, we forgot to draw a disaster. At the end of every player's turn, they draw a disaster card. So these should have all moved up one. This one was here. Yeah, so we completed this one. Now everything moves up again when we draw. Yeah. Okay. You, know, you don't um, fill gaps. Everything moves down one. Now it's back to Gordon. His first action is going to be to try and rescue the desperate intruder. Um, and this time Thunderbird 1 is in the house. And that means we get an extra plus 2 bonus. So it's plus 2 from Thunderbird 4, 2 from Thunderbird 1, and then 3 from Gordon. So we can't fail, right? Even if we get a 1. Well, we could get 2 hoods, I suppose. No, we're good. We rolled a 6. So we've completed the Desperate Intruder Rescue. And we get to choose a token. We'll take another one of these. This time it's gone to Gordon. And we can't trade these, so I can't give two uh, to one player. So that means both our players are going to have to head to Australia now. So as my second action, I'm going to jump back in Thunderbird 2 and head over to Australia. We go. So that's a movement of two, one action. And we've got one action left. So that's my third action. I'm going to use Gordon's ability, which is once per turn you may spend an action to draw a determination token if I'm in Thunderbird 4. That's it. Okay. Draw a disaster card. Another disaster. These will move up. So now, well, this is tough because we do want to bring a teamwork token in here, but I think this is getting a little bit more urgent. We've only got two more turns to try and fix it. So, action number one, and we've got to, to do this one. We need to head into space. So let's take one action, head over here, and then we'll abandon Thunderbird 1. We'll board Thunderbird 3. And then I think, as a second action, we're going to shoot out into space. We can follow this dotted line as an action into the geostationary orbit. Our space station can't move, but we can take another crew member. Thunderbird 3 only moves on this orange path, so it's my third action. Go move over to Venus. And that should set us up for next turn. Let's see. Oh, Scots. Oh, the hood advances. Okay, these stay put now. They don't advance. Instead, the hood advances one space. That means we reveal our first event. So it's accidental injury. The current player's character is injured and may not take the rescue action again until they return to Tracy Island. 
That's not good news. Because rescue was exactly what we wanted Scott to do next time. Uh, okay, let's see what Gordon can do. We're still okay, we've still got two turns to solve. Bound for Venus. We've got City of Fire down here in North America. So I think we'll head back. Let's go back on Thunderbird 2. It's one action. We don't have any technology tokens yet, so I can't build any more. Hoping for the Firefly. But no, what we'll do instead, we'll take we'll take the mole, load him up in here. We can't put Thunderbird 4 in there as well. It can hold up to two machines or one Thunderbird. So we'll just hop in the back seat. And as our second action, we'll move our two, one, two, up to North America. And then we'll try and do this rescue. City of Fire. We've got just a plus two. This is uh, this is a land rescue. Remember, Gordon gets a bonus only on sea rescues. So it's a plus two, and we're looking for eight. Plus two because we got the mole. We got a four and a three. That's seven. With a plus two bonus, that's nine. Yeah, that's enough to take this down. Excellent. We've rescued the Carter family from beneath the burning Thompson Tower Maxi Mole. And we get any one bonus token. Yeah, let's take our second uh, teamwork token. Maybe Scott should have taken something else. Let's draw a Martian invasion. And Venus is now got to be fixed. It's got to be fixed. So it's Scott's turn. He's got to go back to Tracy Island. One, two. Remember this has a movement of three. So now we're healed. Does that cost an action? I'll just discard it. Okay. Now we go back to Venus. One, two. And now we can take our action. Now this is kind of an all or nothing. But we do have a plus two token. And this will give us plus two to our dice roll. Um, and note that we can do this after we roll our dice, not before. So we might not need it. We've got plus two from John, plus two from Alan. They're both here in Thunderbird two, uh, Thunderbird three in Venus. We're looking for eight, with a plus four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, yeah, we got it. I think we'll definitely take as our reward one of these technology tokens. Wow, that was close, very close, too close for comfort. This is our third action, I think. Yep, that's okay. Another disaster. Pit of Peril is quite hard, that's an 11, it's in Africa. some more bonuses. So I think the recovery vehicle needs to be made. So let's take Thunderbird 2 back to Tracy Island. I think we'll take a plan action next. And planning lets us draw a FAB card. I mean you've done you get these as a reward from sometimes. Um, but given that we're about to complete the first scheme I'm quite happy for hood to advance. So you take the action, the hood advances and you take the card. And these are real good stuff and these can really help you save the game. This one's an automatic camera detector. Move the hood back one space on the hood track or the current player can draw a determination token. Well, not so good after all. That would have been good as a reward. Okay, we've got one action left, so we're going to jump back in Thunderbird 4. We're going to hop over to Oz, and then that's our final action, and there's an operation. 
and discard these two tokens, which completes the hold up at Sundra. Those two tokens match. And a reward is an FAB card. Brilliant. And this one is Hydrofoils. That's pretty cool. So Fab 1 Hydrofoils means we can move Fab 1 to any space on Earth. That might be handy for some disasters. Nice. That completes Gordon's turn. And another disaster, we're up to number five. And that's it, this is how this game progresses. I mean, the uh, the bonus tokens do other stuff. So we've got um, construct a pod vehicle, which I think that uh, Scott's about to do. And we're here, we can construct a pod vehicle by discarding one of these. Okay, and the one we're looking for perhaps is the recovery vehicle to help us with this one. Put the recovery vehicle here, load it up. Um, determination gives us extra action. Intelligence lets you reroll the dice. Teamwork plus two. Logistics, they're good. They let you draw a fab card. And then uh, the wild, anyone you wish. Okay. As it goes, Scott's second action. Well, we should probably take these with us. But front number two can only move two spaces, and we've got to get to Africa. So it's going to take us two actions to get there. But of course, then if you've got these, you can take the extra action that we need to try the pit of peril. Yeah, but we're going to have to wait until next time. And that's it. This is how the game keeps pushing along, aiming to complete. And it can be quite tricky and it can be very, very tense. Um, and obviously, with more players, you've got more opportunities to cooperate, but this track is pushing along a lot quicker. I mean, you can see we're getting ourselves into a position where we've really got to stop killing some of these, so we do only have two schemes left, which, incidentally, we can now reveal. See, there's two on here. So we need to simultaneously have... Two um, intelligence tokens in the South Atlantic, and we need to move the Firefly and the Thunderizer to South America. And luckily, South America is pretty close, it's right there next to Tracy Island, so you know it wouldn't take too much to get the Thunderizer and the Firefly, bring them over here, and then fly over to the South Atlantic. These have got quite a lot of work to do to get that uh, Fire From The Sea mission complete. It's great fun and very colourful. And these are the other characters you can play. Alan Tracy, Lady Penelope, John Tracy and Virgil. If you have John Tracy in play then Thunderbird 3 starts in geostationary orbit so you can kind of do a lot more stuff in space. I mean I don't know much about the TV show but you know it, it looks real colourful and certainly the imagery here uh, brings back memories of uh, watching this as a kid. And me and my son have played the game and um, I mean he's not a Thunderbirds fan either but we both really enjoyed it and we really enjoyed the way that you had to work together. There was a lot of discussion over the table. So go, go, go check it out. It's from Modifius Entertainment. Designed by Matt Leacock, and thanks to Rob Harris, who was the developer on this one, for getting this copy to me. Thanks for watching, see you next time.